How are you doing? Welcome back to uh, the channel, Crazyization. Um, this one is just a kind of a Christmas special, and uh, it's about my five New Year's um, guitar resolutions. And the first one is. <laughs> First one is spend less time online and more time playing. Well, you can be looking at stuff online all the time. Um, you know, you're sitting in a room on a computer, and <laughs> after a while, you're kind of chasing your tail. Especially, you know, um, compulsives like myself uh, on the Fender website, uh, looking at other quirky type of guitars like Epiphones and stuff like that. And uh, before you know it, the whole night's gone, and you're there, not practicing your chops, um, and you're looking at uh, reverb, that kind of stuff you've been looking at over and over again, uh, reading stuff that you've read a hundred times. Um, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Number four is to stop reading useless information on forums. Um, forums are handy. Um, because sometimes you get um, professional advice and input but the problem is if you're starting out um, there's a lot of crap like people debating about rosewood versus maple um, on guitar fingerboards um, sometimes it just gets nuts and you can't really tell the difference another one is um, which sounds better alnico or ceramic which wood is better? Which wood isn't better? Uh, which strings are better? Oh, stop! That's it. I've had enough. Number three in my New Year's uh, resolutions for 2019 is to stop buying pedals that I don't need. Here is a few um, pedals that I never use uh, that are sitting there gathering dust. It's a bad habit and it's got to go. Number two is to stop buying Mexican standards. Before you say anything, I think they're fantastic guitars. They're great value for money, especially used. Um, I've, I've picked some up for 250 euros. Uh, thing is, um, you don't want to have a house full of them. Um, <laughs> change the pickups um, but then again instead of the same old Duncan's it's going to cost you over 200 I'd really worth modifying um, if you have one maybe but if you have a few well then um, there's no point in collecting them um, because they're all more or less the same and the temptation is always there to buy one one in each colour for everybody in the audience. So, it's another habit I've built and it has to stop. And that's it. And finally, my number one New Year resolution is to stop buying Squires. Squires are exceptional value for money, especially used. Um, I'm not talking about the Affinity series, which is really the bottom of the barrel. Bodies are thin, necks are thin, they're just not good guitars. Um, when I say not good, if you've got some Mexican guitars and US guitars, um, the affinity is just junk, really. Um, but the Indonesian and the Chinese um, squires are very good guitars. But in my mind, they don't match the uh, Mexican standards at all, um, which are far better. Um, so, yeah, squires. <laughs> recently sold to. Um, they're just gathering dust. Um, when you when you buy them, because it's so cheap and alluring, um, there's always that kind of hollow feeling after of, oh, you know, you're just wasting your time really. Um, even modifying them is going to be expensive if you're if you have to buy a guitar to modify. In my mind, I think um, you're buying the wrong guitar. Get rid of um, some gear, 
uh, get rid of the gear you don't need and uh, get yourself the real deal um, you know that's in my mind on the fender ladder so yeah uh, so no more squires uh, in 2019 unless they're Japanese like this um, the Japanese squires are fantastic guitars and that definitely worked um, dropping the cash on the counter for so um, yeah um, this is just one of those oddball Christmas special videos that I decided to make um, don't take it too seriously it's just a bit of fun and uh, thanks for watching hope everybody out there has a great Christmas and uh, see you next time